taarifa yake mama wa taifa bi Margaret Kenyatta ambaye anazungumza katika hafla ya kuadhimisha siku ya wanawake humu nchini. And to resolve to do whatever we can wherever we are to bring about meaningful change that has bearing on women's lives. We may not always share consensus on how to define the numerous problems facing women or agree on what constitutes progress for us. That is a good thing because our different shades of opinion, our spirited debate pushes us to think all the more harder about these issues and empowers us all to defend our, our diverse perspectives with greater clarity and conviction. And that is what today is about. It's about addressing our progress and also affirming our work is not yet done. This is why International Women's Day continues to exist. 2020 was a difficult year for everyone. It was a time when we witnessed the many gains we had made over time eroded. New barriers and challenges emerged with the COVID-19 pandemic, including the increased domestic violence, teenage pregnancies, unpaid care, unemployment, and poverty. We lost the gains we had made in ensuring that our pregnant mothers give birth safely. Many women have lost their lives while fulfilling their God-given role in childbirth. But during this time, we were also reminded of the essential and unequivocal role women have played since the history of time as caregivers, peacemakers, family and community organizers, alongside their domestic and professional responsibilities. This year's global theme, Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World, therefore resonates well with our current global circumstances. With everything that happened in 2020, we also had silver linings. We had the opportunity to celebrate some firsts in our history. The election of the first woman vice president in the United States of America, Her Excellency Kamala Harris, has done women proud and broken the glass ceiling by going into history books as the 49th vice president and the first female occupant of that office in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, as we commemorate this year's International Women's Day, we are reminded that women still face many challenges as they pursue their right to equitable participation in leadership due to many factors, lack of knowledge, finances, agency, and voice. This year's theme calls for women leadership. It amplifies the theme of the 65th session of the Commission on the Status of Women due to be held later in March on women's full and effective participation and decision-making in public life, as well as the elimination of violence. It highlights the need for us to demand for a level playing field for women and girls, irrespective of race, religion, or social background. Here in Kenya, while we applaud the current 23% representation of women in the National Assembly, we still have more work to be done to achieve the constitutionally proposed two-thirds gender rule. We also, as women, must continue to raise our voices and protect ourselves against harmful practices such as FGM and early child marriage. These factors impede our pathway to reaching our gifted potential. Let us continue working together for the progress we believe in. Let us all begin with ourselves in our own spaces, in our home. That the man has changed to their advantage. Our country is very beautiful. Being bold for change. We need to be bold in a big way. We know that women can bring a difference in leadership 
by ensuring that the needs and aspirations of women and men, boys and girls are addressed equitably. As we celebrate the theme, Women Leadership, I urge all women to actively take up opportunities and offer themselves for elective and different leadership positions at both, at both national and county levels. I'm personally encouraged by the evidence that there's a lot of creativity, innovation, thought, time and capital across the country being channeled towards shifting the status quo closer to equity and justice. Let us all continue along this path. Today, we have the opportunity to celebrate some remarkable women who have had an incredible impact in our country, either individually or through collective action. We shall be celebrating these wonderful and courageous women through our annual Trailblazers Award and recognition program. I congratulate you all for your selfless resilience and determination. With those remarks, I wish you all once again a happy International Women's Day. Stay safe and God bless you. A round of Na mtazamaji hiyo imekuwa ni taarifa mahotuba yake mama wa taifa B Margaret Kenyatta ambapo leo hii hafla imeandaliwa kuadhimisha siku ya wanawake humu nchini na bila